Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, Brunei. It's now 8 p.m. and we are so excited to have this session tonight for Brunei. Why? Yes, it's a new product launch, Joy Mobility. Okay. You know, I'm so fortunate because uh, I had the opportunity to listen to the training before this. And after the, I mean, the rehearsal, I feel everyone should have these products. Yeah, this is not just like a product launch, but uh, this product can really you know, change our health and life. So uh, tonight, uh, Claudia will help us on to you know, understand more about the scientific part of these products and why everyone needs it. So I will turn the time to Claudia to share her presentation today. So over to you, Claudia. Thank you, CK, for the introduction. And hello, good evening to all, uh, to everyone who's listening. So uh, as I was preparing this presentation, right, I can't help but to think of the good times that I have uh, when I get to travel. So I, I really do miss um, the in-person contact that I get to do with my Singapore or uh, my Brunei business partners. So um, regardless, I really wish that all of you are keeping healthy and staying safe and I really miss all of you. Okay, so um, I'm really excited for today. So give me a moment to share my screen. Okay, all right. Um, when we talk about joints, based on my experience with people, I find that this is a very commonly misunderstood topic. Uh, well, based on all my past conversations, there are a few things that comes to mind. Number one, a lot of people think that Joint-related pains are a problem not related to them. Okay, they will think that this is a very distant future problem that will only happen to their grandparents, uh, to those who are in the elderly age group. And secondly, a lot of people also think that joint issues can be solved very easily. All right, they think that, oh, uh, you don't really have to see a doctor. You just have to let the pain go away. And by just simply consuming more milk or calcium, it can solve the whole issue about joint problems. So is it really true? So you may be like one of these people who are um, not very sure about the importance of joint. So if you are, then you are in the right place today. Today we'll be unpacking um, the importance. And through this session, you will find the significance of joints to our health. So this is a picture of the joint. So without a doubt, there are bones in the joint, right? As we can see on the top and bottom. But interestingly, both of these joints are not isolated or separated from each other. As you can see here, both of these bones are connected with this um, section with what we call as the joint cavity. So in between this space, there's this synovial fluid, you know, which is like um, lubricant for our joints okay, to ensure that they don't rub against each other or produce pain. And another very important part is the cartilage. Okay, this is the blue color segment that you can see surrounding the joints. So this is also another additional layer of protection to ensure that both of these bones do not come in contact with each other. So as we can see here, this joint is a make up of many other components. And it's more than just the bones. Well, you can have really strong bones. You can be drinking a lot of milk, but that does not guarantee that your cartilage is healthy, that your synovial fluid is sufficient. You can also experience a certain degree of joint pain 
and friction can still occur irregardless of how strong your bone is. So when we talk about joint health, the first thing that comes into mind is, oh, it should be knee pain, right? Which is what most of us would think about. However, it is so much more than that, right? Based on this diagram, we can see, wow, there are so many other types of joints that look so sophisticated. And these are obviously a lot more complex compared to the illustration that I showed you earlier. All right, there's the pivot joint and the hinge joint. And these are just certain parts of the body that have joints. Right? There are other parts that was not highlighted that is in red. Okay, these are the things like our fingers, right? Uh, our uh, connecting to our shoulder blades, all right? our rib cage, our spine. And these are all also joint organs. So the human body has an approximately 330 joints, okay? So it's a lot more complex than just the knee. And all of this aim to support our body. So if the body has no joints, we will be literally like jelly right now, okay? We won't be able to stand up, we won't even be able to sit for that matter because joints is what holds the body together. And many activities that we do in a day requires joints, okay, such as walking, right? Even walking to the toilet, also you use your joints and not just only on the flat surface. Um, if you are hiking or you are walking up the stairs, you are also using your joints. And sports, all kinds of sports activity. Could be jogging, you know, working on your quads or doing the squat, you know, and all these engage different muscle groups and obviously the joints. And working, well, I'm sure a lot of us can identify with this. In fact, we spend majority of our lives doing this. So you can imagine the cumulative impact of us sitting like this. And after a stressful day of work, the last thing on our minds is to sit straight. Am I right? All you want to do is to be like this lady here. You know, lounge on the sofa without a care in the world. Watch your favorite Korean drama or Netflix and binge eating on your favorite snacks. And bending down as well. This does not only uh, involve heavy objects, right? Even though she looks like she's carrying something heavy. But even simple activities like picking up your coin that slip on the floor or just picking up something from the floor also engage the, uh, uh, the joints in your spine. Reaching up for things as well, taking something in a high area, phone use, okay? And look at how these kids, they are sitting. I think looking at how they use the phone, I feel neck pain really. All right, so it's all these small activities that we do on a daily basis that we are unaware. Okay, collectively, they put a lot of stress onto the joints. So you imagine, okay, if either one of our joints are no longer functioning normally, it really will restrict you know, our ability to do simple, simple, even simple things like eating or enjoying your favorite movie. Okay, so you know, joints is really important. And if we have joint-related pains, uh, you know. A few of these things would happen. So neck pain, this is very common. And I think this is also a problem that now a lot of young people, even children, has. Okay, back pain and you will radiate okay, all the way to your lower back pain and hip pain. Okay, and your wrist and finger will be very sore. Um, well, I'm sure 10 years ago, we will be laughing at this problem, right? Thinking that, how is it possible? But now with the extensive use of our phones, this is in fact really common. In fact, we face this every day. And of course, knee pain. So these are the things that we will experience if you know, a part of our joints are not functioning as it should. So I want to highlight several areas that are particularly vulnerable. Number one is the neck. Right? I think that people always neglect 
the neck. They think joint is yeah, obviously the, the knee. But our neck has to first of all hold the head. And just so you know, it's not the lightest thing in the world. Okay, it's 5.5 kg. And as long as we have neck pain, it can spread to various parts of the body, such as the head, shoulder, arms, and the hands. So yeah, it plays a pretty significant role there. So I find this really interesting study that I want to share with you. And it talks about the impact of how we look at our screens and the burden that it places on the neck joint. Okay, so in this picture, we can see you know, if you are standing straight, right? And not really looking at anything in particular. So, okay, you'll be holding 5.5 kg of your head. So by just increasing that degree to 15 degree, you can see a very significant increase in the weight that's placed there. All right, uh, so in kg, this would be 12 kg. So it's a leap, right? More than, uh, yeah, it's more than 10 kilos. It's a lot of pressure. By just increasing a little bit more, okay, 30 degrees is already 40 pounds. Okay, this is equivalent to 18 kg. And by just adding another 15, it's, 45, uh, it's 49 pounds. And adding a bit more to 60 degrees is a staggering 60 pounds. So this is roughly uh, 30 kg. Can you imagine the impact okay, of how looking at the phone, right, that we do stop coding, you know, every day we do it, it's placing so much pressure on it. And I'm sure we all find ourselves at the 60 degree angle. All right, I'm pretty sure whenever we are, especially when you're watching a really engaging video, you know, or you know, something really engaging on our phones, we'll be bending all the way, right? Just to get you know, really excited with the uh, show that you're watching. And another area that I want to talk about is the spine, all right? Uh, the poor posture wears and tears the spine. And we know this, right? Since young, when we are children, our parents are asking us to stand or sit straight. And sleep this risk begins at the age of 30. Uh, so just so you know, uh, I have friends, okay, at my age are already experiencing this problem. And I can tell you, none of my friends who have this problem say that it's not painful. I can say 100% of them say it is really, really painful. And even laughing is painful, you know. My friends say she cannot even laugh because it will move the body, right? And and that's go and for to change itself is so difficult. She need to use a stick to take things, you know, and it's really really inconvenient. So maintaining good posture is key, right? With all the problems we talk about right now, I'm sure we do not want to have good posture. However, there's several things to think about. First of all, is it practical, right? Can we always ensure good posture? Our minds have already a lot of things to think about, right? We are so stressed with work and this and that. <laughs> we don't even have the conscious thought to even think about oh, whether I'm staying straight 24 hours. And furthermore, there are a bunch of other things that's beyond our control. So I'm sure the sofa, chair, and table are not really ergonomic, all right, for us. What more are we talking about in public places, in restaurants, and so on and so forth? cannot expect that those sofa and chairs are good for our posture. So what is the solution? Hey, do you want to wear this? I'm sure a lot of people say that um, if you wear a collar, it has a protective effect for you. Um, and if you, nowadays, this is also very trendy. Right? A lot of people are wearing these kind of things to protect their back. So let's see, um, how does it fare? So cervical collar and posture corrector straps, according to evidence, they can help to support and protect the neck in the short term. But long-term use of a cervical collar may lead to weakening and stiffening of your neck muscles. And to add on further, these devices can do more harm than good. Long-term use for extended period of time can cause your core muscles to relax and weaken. And constantly supporting the spine in a certain position can make the muscles in the spine waste away and become lazy. I mean, isn't this surprising? Well, I'm sure that everybody said that you should be wearing collar, right? It's a protective measure. But it looks like it's doing a lot of harm to our body instead. And many of this research is only done for a short period of time. And no results for long term is currently being established. So 
you know, long-term varying, this is not really a solution. So there are other cheaper solutions that we can get in the dollar store, such as this, right? Oh, by just two or three Brunei dollars, you can easily get one of these. And all these, you know, ointments and creams and traditional medicine that we hear from somebody and somebody. So do they really work? So many of these muscle patches or ointment purchased at a cheap price are, you know, really just marketing gimmicks. You know, they provide a sensation of heat, but just a feeling. So you will feel that it works, right? But the pain will eventually return. But for most pain relief patches, okay, if you're talking about prescription, right, they are those that are effective. But inside those pain patches, they have uh, medicine which is painkiller. So after you get used to the dosage, eventually you will lose its effect. Okay, so this is where the dangerous part will come in, right? Addiction-related problem. You get very addicted to the short-term relief. So once that relief is not there, well, immediately you get withdrawal symptom and you want to keep adding the dosage. And long-term accumulation of all this medication will cause toxicity and will harm the body organs. And, there, and the thing is, there's no indication of restoring your joints at all. Okay, if you look at all the mechanism of how it works, it's really just about relieving pain only, which we know is short term. So clearly, this is not a solution, right? This is not what we're looking for. So, you know, because of this, um, there are a lot of alternative gay solutions that's out there. And that's when, you know, supplement comes into the picture. So I'm sure we have heard about glucosamine many times, all right? And this has been around for as long as I can remember. And everybody who have joint pains seem to be taking this. So does it really work? Not really effective. So glucosamine has been studied for arthritis treatment. Okay? However, data on its effectiveness is rather conflicting and weak. Most clinical studies show that these treatments are no more effective than a placebo. Okay, so for those who don't know what placebo is, it's basically an empty pill, okay, or a dummy, we call it. And it's usually used in research to eliminate the possibility of a psychological effect. So if a glucosamine and a dummy both has no difference, it means that glucosamine just does not work at all. Okay, and not just only that, the American College of Rheumatology do not support the use of glucosamine and chondroitin in osteoarthritis because they are just simply not effective. So what to do? Okay, it looks like you no, know, the, the solution in the dollar store or muscle patches don't really seem to work. So what is there for us? So what's the problem and what we really need? Okay, first of all, the main goal of arthritis or any joint-related pain is to reduce joint pain and inflammation, daily wear and tear, and you know, obviously muscle strains. So the existing pharmaceuticals, okay, which is used in medicine, for treating joint-related problems are analgesics, steroids, and uh, anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay, these are basically your Panadol and painkillers. However, long-term use cannot be sustained due to inadequate pain relief, immune disturbances, and serious gastrointestinal and cardiovascular adverse events. Therefore, herbal therapies with anti-inflammatory properties and minimum side effects are very much needed. So this is where we come into the picture. And let's see what uh, we have in store. Okay, so as you can see, both is a comparison of healthy joints and painful joints, right? So one of the main reasons why um, there are joint pains is because of the thinning of the cartilage. So we have to resort to this issue first. Okay, so to tackle this, we have this very special uh, formulation known as type 2 collagen complex. So you'll be thinking, oh, is this the same with um, the collagen for the face? So it's not. Okay, um, type 2 collagen is very specific okay, uh, for connective tissues in the body, particularly to support the bone joints. So this is a very specific uh, component. 
And um, a lot of studies actually found that type 2 collagen is effective for arthritis. And more recently, a statistically significant improvement in knee joint function is observed. Particularly for whom who develop knee joint pain upon strenuous exercise. So exercise is one of those things that uh, is really good. You know, in some ways it helps the joints, but at the same time, it's like a double-edged sword. It also hurts the joint from too much impact. And the same individuals who do the same individuals who are on this type 2, they do not experience pain easily after just 120 days of supplementation. So this is around four months. Okay, and okay, I'll top that off, we also compared uh, type 2 collagen against glucosamine. So before study, uh, we you know, this study recruited moderate to severe uh, osteoarthritis patients. So these people are really in pain. So we compared, right? Uh, and they found that this uh, type 2 collagen has better clinical outcome compared to glucosamine. In fact, glucose supplementation failed to induce a statistically significant improvement in pain scores versus a dummy. And greater reduction in knee symptoms after 90 days of UC2, which is type 2 collagen, you know, was observed compared to glucosamine. So we can see here, right? Obviously, type 2 collagen is a much more effective component compared to glucosamine. So the next thing we have to look at is really inflammation. Okay, it really does not matter whether you're doing a strenuous exercise or not. Um, as long as you're moving, there will be inflammation. So in order for us to combat this, all right, we have a very strong ingredient which is known as turmeric. I'm sure you know, many people have heard of this, right? Okay. Um, okay, what really makes turmeric uh, such a good anti-inflammatory agent is due to its active ingredient, curcumin, as you can see here. So turmeric spices, um, well, if we take on food, generally only have 3% of this component. And one serving of joint mobility contains 95% of curcuminoid. You can do the math, all right? If taking one serving of joint mobility equals to, I don't know how many bowls of curry you have to eat. Okay, so we cannot compare to eating food and taking joint mobility. The potency is just on a entirely different level. Okay, all right, it's very potent. It can even help, you know, inflammation in various conditions, such as diabetes, heart disease, even degenerative eye disease and cancer. So I think this is actually really, really good benefit. All right, so how does turmeric help us in terms of our joints? So tumor and curcumin have been found to be safe and tolerable in human clinical trials and many systematic reviews. Okay, and by just simply taking this to eight to 12 weeks, all right, we can see reduced joint pains, right? Meaning in pain and inflammation with the uh, symptoms. And this is the very powerful thing I find, okay? Oral administration of curcumin reduced arthritis symptoms as much as pain medicine, okay? Just to repeat, it's as means the level is as good as a medication, you know? And this is from natural food. And this is just about joints, right? And I found some really even better benefits about turmeric. Okay, curcumin has been shown to even help to manage metabolic syndrome, okay? By improving insulin sensitivity, suppressing fat cells formation, okay? And reducing blood pressure. Who doesn't want all this benefit, right? And also, because of its potency of reducing oxidation, it has remarkable productive, uh, sorry, protective effect against liver disease. Uh, because there's a lot of inflammation that's happening in our liver as well. So curcumin found that really protect our liver from that. And curcumin may also help in the management of exercise-induced inflammation and muscle soreness. It aids recovery and performance after a strenuous workout. So on top of having a protein supplement, having this could really add up to a really nice bonus to your health. Next, we have boswella. Okay, so this is not as famous as turmeric, but in the supplement industry, 
which is actually quite popular as well. So um, this herb has been studied extensively on arthritis. So they find that uh, arthritis or knee pain decreased after just taking it for four weeks, right? Wow. The results are getting more and more powerful. It also helps to reduce the level of a cartilage degrading design. So not just only it manage the pain, it really helps to manage the specific problem. Clinical studies have shown that Boswella not only has anti-inflammatory and anti-arthritis properties, but it also improves pain and physical function. Physical function, this is really the main thing that we're looking for. Okay, and Boswella may increase the absorption of curcumin. So this is the reason why we put it together, right? Not just only both are really powerful, but if we put it together, it can give us a synergistic and an even stronger effect. So it's a perfect combination. Southeast Asia, all right? 70% of the people in Southeast Asia are deficient in vitamin D. And just so you know, this is a pretty staggering statistic, really considering the fact that we have sunlight all year long. I've done a bit of comparison uh, comparing to the states or the European country. So the deficiency in vitamin D is around only 40%. And one thing you have to note is that um, they have four seasons and they don't have sunlight as much as us. And, you know, for us to be having such a staggering and big uh, deficiency, it really speaks volume on the nutritional health of us. And uh, currently, vitamin D is one of the most deficient vitamins uh, in the whole world. So, we gotta get enough of this, all right? Uh, so one of the reasons why we don't have enough of it is because we don't go out as much, right? Especially now with COVID, we are all at home. So there's no way we can get it from the sun. So how about food sources? Okay, we can get it from deep sea fishes, right? There's a place where you can get it or red meat, okay, we're talking about steak or inuts. Okay, uh, organs like the liver and even egg yolk. So it seems like I can only find four of these major sources and they are mostly from animal source. So vegetable don't really have as high amounts as this. So for those who are vegan, they do have difficulty in getting sufficient amounts. So with this in mind, this is the reason why we've also incorporated vitamin D in our formulation. So what does vitamin D does to the body? It plays a very important role in bone metabolism. And it promotes uh, calcium absorption in the gut. And more importantly, it also prevents our muscle from cramping and having spasm. And trust me, this is a very unpleasant experience. And without sufficient vitamin D, our bones can become thin, brittle, or even misshapen. Okay, vitamin D plays a very important role in forming strong joints. It not just only makes your bone healthy, but your joints as well. And it has many other functions as well, such as um, you know, improving cell growth, uh, nerve and muscle health, immune function, and even metabolizing glucose in the blood. So it seems to me that this is a really, really important vitamin. So joint issue is clearly not an elderly problem, all right? Uh, based on the picture that we see just now, I think uh, children are going to have joint issue compared to elderly, okay? Talking about the modern era right now, okay? The way and the frequency of how they are using their phones and the posture is going to put them at a much higher risk, if you ask me compared to an elderly. And I'm going to wait until things don't work anymore. All right, as we can see here, um, it's not just only limited to those who are nearing their old age on a wheelchair. Okay, even young people, all right, and I'm seeing it more and more common. You know, I have friends who have stick this and some of them have to be on crutches or walking stick. 
And um, it's really not a good experience at all. Okay, and uh, usually doctor will give medication, but uh, medication, once it does not work, then they will go into injection. Uh, so injection, they will just do it directly on the side. But um, one thing about injection is that they are very invasive. So it, there's also a chance that a mistake would happen okay, if they accidentally inject, right? Especially talking about like the spine or the neck. Okay, if they inject wrongly, okay, there's a high risk that an accident would occur, especially if they uh, accidentally touch on the nerve. So if long-term injections does not work, then eventually you will have to go for a surgery. All right, um, there's hip replacement or knee replacement. So just so you know, um, the procedure is not as simple as this picture, okay? Uh, in reality, they actually have to do, they have to saw away, okay? They have to saw a part of your bone so that they can put the thing inside, okay? The metal inside your bone. And after that, they will put it back, okay? To your normal hip joint. So many people would think that this is a long-term solution, okay? However, I have met people who have undergone this surgery. Uh, so after they have done this surgery, uh, it's completely different. Okay, uh, the way they walk, you can see the way they walk is like a little bit off. Okay, it's very unnatural. And um, they, a lot of simple things they cannot do. Okay, they cannot bend. All right, even going to the toilet, they need to have a very special kind of seat. Okay, if not, they will not be able to do it like a normal person. And even the clothes that they wear, they can only wear clothes that is easy to change. And, you know, they have to rely on others to help them to move around. So these are not pleasant experiences. And things like hip replacement, honestly, they do have an expiry date. So if this something were to happen in this uh, procedure, you can't, okay, our bones will not be able to take it okay, for us to put it back again. So it's a one-time only procedure and once it's malfunction, it's gone. Uh, so the purpose, why I'm telling you all this, uh, is not to scare you, all right? Uh, don't get me wrong, okay? We're not here to scare people and, you know, make people uh, uncertain about things. You know, we are just telling you the reality of what would happen if we don't take good care of our joints, all right? As much as we like to listen to good news, but at the same time, you need to have the courage to face reality. So Unicity, uh, we have always been very intentional about uh, the products that we produce. Okay, we have a very clear vision and a very clear goal in mind whenever we are doing something. Okay, we are not doing it because other people are doing it. Okay, fear of missing out, right? But we're doing it because we have a very clear vision. Um, of course, scientifically, we put a lot of time into researching good quality ingredients. Right, in the perfect ratio, and we have done a lot of vigorous safety testing to make sure that this produce that you take is safe for your body. So scientific aspect aside, we also spend a lot of time um, to make products that can change the way you feel. Okay, so if we take a bit of time to really look at this word joy mobility, right? Okay, let's not just scan it, but really look into it and they can sink in. What feeling does it give you? So, you know, we're very selective with the word that we use. Okay, we don't just, we could have put some really jargon or really, you know, uh, out of proportion words, right? But we have chosen to use two of these words, join mobility. Why? Because we, we don't do our products to make people feel afraid. Okay, definitely not, all right? We don't make uh, products to make people feel afraid, uncertain, or helpless. In fact, it's the total opposite, all right? The very reason why we use this word is to make you feel really empowered, okay? To make you feel really excited and really happy about taking control of your health. So this is the why we do what we do. Right? And behind the message of this product is to really give us the freedom in life. All right? Freedom to move is one thing, but freedom gives a lot of joy. 
um, when I was doing a rehearsal session with Sam, he shared with me a very uh, powerful story. So he talked about himself. Uh, he, you know, before this, he, he is, and he still is actually, a very athletic person. So he's a very outdoor person. He's very adventurous. So he has done, um, you know, extreme sports. Okay, we're not talking about the standard marathon, okay, 25 km. That is very daunting for many people already, right? But he's doing things like triathlon, okay, uh, ultra marathon. It's like 50 km. And he does things like he climbed, and he, he told me that he actually climbed uh, a lot of those renowned mountains that are very, very tall. Okay, and he's basically very much into extreme sports. So um, when he's doing all that and having all that freedom, one day, uh, his knees, he said, uh, completely, you know, went out. All right, and he said uh, he was in the middle of completing a race at the point of time. So no choice. It's like he said his joint, his knee, completely jammed, and he cannot move at all. So he can only rely on his uh, left knee. Okay, and he was basically limping his way uh, throughout the whole race. Again, because his left knee has to compensate, okay, the burden of the right knee, end up, he also hurt his left knee in the process. So he has tried and he said that day was really devastating for him because he thought uh, it was something that he could recover immediately, but never knew, okay, that the jam effect on his knee stayed and lasted for as much as months. He said he couldn't move at all. And for somebody who loves outdoor and loves to exercise, this is a huge blow to you know, his self-esteem and how he feels. So he went to see all kinds of doctors. Right? He shared with me his experience. He went and see top doctors. He even visited like top therapists. Right? And he paid a lot of money to find uh, a way out. Okay, but, but the thing that they tell them, they tell him is that, oh, um, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, these doctors say that uh, your cartilage is just worn out, right? Uh, there's nothing we can do about it anymore. So the only solution you have, you just cannot do those exercises anymore. So when that happened, when he received that news, he told me he was devastated, he was sad, but more importantly, he was really angry. He said, this is nonsense, right? I am somebody who loves to move and not being able to do that and visiting top doctors, giving me answers like this. So it was really angry. Uh, but coincidentally, that was the time that joint mobility was um, launched okay, in the US. So he said, you know, without any expectation, he went and just tried. Uh, so he took joint mobility, I think two capsules, he took a uh, double dose. So it's four capsules a day. So after taking it consistently, and you know, and you see in just a matter of three months, he can do everything again already. Yeah, he say he can go back, he can try to run. And right now, he is as active as ever. Okay, for those who have followed his Instagram account would know that he's a very outdoor person. Okay, he say he can still go for his rock climbing, he can still go for his running and his camping, and he's enjoying life. All right, and with this, it has helped him to overcome one of the biggest obstacles in his life, and he no longer need to feel held down or restricted. See, isn't it very inconvenient? You know, if you have any pain in the body, right, you have to think about, oh, if I go to this trip, oh, you know how, you know, can I manage this? So it really holds us down, and most importantly. We can enjoy life to its fullest, right? And this is the very reason why we do what we do. Okay, is to empower you to take charge of your health so you can enjoy your life, right? And share these moments with people that you love. So um, what I'm trying to say is uh, joints are really very important to us. And I think for most of us, we may not feel it because we don't experience this pain before, okay? And we, we always do simple things like walking around and playing the computer. And we take all these small activities for granted. 
you know, because we think that, ah, we don't even think about it. But once if something really bad or something is taken away from you, then you really would feel the punch. Okay, so what I want to say is, um, you know, why we do what we do is to make us feel more appreciative of what we have. So as long as we have joints and we have good health, we got to take care of it. So thank you for sticking around with me and I really appreciate your time uh, with me here today. So I'll be passing the time to CK. All right, thank you, Claudia, for the wonderful sharing about you know, joint mobility tonight. So after this session, I'm very sure you know how important these products related to us and you know, our family and friends. I think if you are driving a car, uh, you know car have expansion, right? Expansion then uh, is uh, similar to like, our joint. So if the expansion have problems or damage, you go to the service center either to service or to change it. Easy, right? But how about joint? If it's damaged, can we change it? So I know you should have the answer now. And so uh, don't wait until it's too late, you know, to fix it. Okay, um, tonight we also have a person who consumed the products, okay, joint mobility before and feel the change after, you know, taking it. So let us welcome Karin to share with you her experience and story about this products, right? Over to Karin. Hi, Karin. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Can you Hi. hear me? Yes, yes. All right. Hi. Thank you, CK. And thank you, Claudia, for that great presentation. Oh, my God. You reminded me of all the pain, but those pain cannot be compared to my knee pain. Wow. I think, first of all, I have to congratulate all the Bruneians for having this awesome product because it really, truly gave me that freedom to move and truly give me that freedom to live the way I choose to live. All right. To begin with is... Um, all I can say is I remember the pain, okay? When I had those joint pains on my knees, all I remember was it was painful. All right, a few years back, it was so painful. It was so tight. It was swelled up. You know, it's like my pants, I'm wearing my pants and my pants can become so tight after I stand for like uh, 45 minutes, it totally swollen. And I really feel so, so, so discouraged. Because when I walk down the knees and walk down the stairs, I couldn't walk straight down, but I have to walk like a crab that goes sideways. And when I about I, I cannot sit on the floor just like any normal person that I can just sit down happily, easily. But I have to actually put my I have to support with my arms, I have to hold it down, and then from the side, then I bring it myself down. And when I come up, the same thing, I have to go from sideways and push myself up. So my knees were there, but they are not serving me during those times. So how did I actually end up that? Well, I have always been an active person, always been active. And in the past, I do not know, uh, I did not know better how to take care of my joints because, you know, it always feels good when you can achieve uh, a certain level of uh, fitness level and you feel that you just want to keep going and keep going. So in the past, when I first started uh, running, I was like training myself to begin with 4km and very quickly, I actually started running 10 kilometers every single day and during weekend, it will go above 15, 16 kilometer. And to me, it's like, I thought that was normal. That's the way to train. And on top of my running, I was also doing spinning that is indoor cycling. And every day I will be like doing an hour. And sometimes we will go like cycling, indoor cycling, marathon. We will go straight three hours. So during that time, I did not really take good care of my joints because seriously, I have no knowledge about that. And then when it happens, when it starts to swell up, when it starts to feel so painful, when I cannot move, and I really, really felt I aged. I felt like I'm an old lady. I felt so, so discouraged because I have to stop all my workout for almost two years. And during that time, thank God, uh, I went to Thailand and they have Cola Flex. I started with Cola Flex. I think I used uh, two, two bottles of Cola Flex 
And then, thank God, very soon, uh, Singapore launched uh, Joint Mobility. And from then onwards, I've been using it and slowly, it allows me, the first thing what I noticed is the swell didn't come back up and I'm able to move my knees better, less tight. And from there, I'm able to do certain kind of workout. I remember at that time, I did a lot of mountain climbers because that was less stressful on my knees. So from there, I changed my workout together with the addition of joint mobility. It really helped to strengthen my knees. And today, I'm happy to say, uh, even though I'm still active, oh, yes, I have to say, and thank God for my recovery. In the past, I was doing a half marathon, then I have to stop running. And, and I have to say, I was so discouraged that I thought I could never run again. And I always have this wish and always have this goal that I can do a full marathon, which is a 42.1 kilometer. I always wish that I can do it. But in my mind, I always thought it is impossible because of my joints or because of my knees. All right. I was also having heat pain that time, but I cannot remember as crazy. Uh, the pain was not as crazy as my knees. So it was never reminded about my hips or my uh, lower back, but it was always focused on my knees. But then with my slow recovery and totally when I felt strong again, last year I actually completed two full marathons. I felt really good about myself. I felt really, really, you know, thank God that my knees can actually recover. All right. So you see this picture. I tried a lot of things to recover my knees, to bring back my knees. But I try uh, Chinese acupuncture. I try to, you know, this one, what they call cupping, remove the dirty blood from my knees. It gave me temporary relief, but it never solved the problems. And I even had, uh, I even uh, went to some fitness instructor and asked them their opinion. And they were telling me that you need to go under the knife. You need to go for operation. And in my head at that time, I was like, oh my God, I don't want to go for operation because I have this, my mom had a kneecap, kneecap surgery a few years back. And at one point, I thought, that, is this genetic or what? Do I really have to be like her? But thank God I did not. But what I did was I used the products and, and, and I changed my workout schedule and I finally got healthy again. So today, I'm able to do all the things I could not before. In the past, I could squat, but I could not squat lower. I could squat, but I could not uh, do uh, weighted squats. But today, I can do everything. I can do squat jumps. I can go down the stairs just like a normal person walking down, not like crap anymore. So I'm totally blessed with this uh, joint mobility that is in Brunei right now that we can use it um, every single day to protect us from any future possible uh, damage, but to make it sure that it will remain healthy. So yes, this is my sharing. So, oh, okay. So this is a video that um, recently, um, I think this last month, I actually did a, the first time I did a squat, uh, with 65 kg, all right, that's my body weight. So that's the first time I attempted it before it was like way lighter. So I'm truly happy, no problem on my knees at all. I felt strong, I felt confident. So yes, thanks to Joy Mobility, I have healthy joints today. So thank you. <laughs> Okay. All right. This is really a powerful experience sharing. Thank you, Karine. Uh, so this is a time, you know, uh, we are now pleased to announce that uh, we officially launched Joy Mobility in Brunei. <laughs> Congratulations to Brunei. <laughs> okay. And once again, uh, thank you for your time to tune in tonight. To listen to the uh, the product presentation, and we hope it could benefit you know from this session. So thank you all and good night. So bye, bye. Thank you, bye.